everyone, it's Jordan, and today I'm be reading uh, Booktuber's favorite books of 2019. I'm sorry that the line is being all weird. I'm actually using my vlogging camera right now because this is going to be a, a vlog, which I'm not sure how long it's going to last because I'm really w been wanting to do this video for a while since Books and Lala did this video. I was like, and since I've seen other people have done it, I'm like, I gotta do this video. So instead of picking on the popular Booktubers, um, channel I'm gonna pick um my favorite book to my five favorite um booktubers that I've watched that are under maybe at least 20,000 subscribers because I think everybody's amazing on booktube I just I watch I would read um um booktubers favorite um books from 2019 and who knows I might find some new favorites so let's um watch some um booktubers favorites. So I'm going to be starting off with one of my um, very talented co-hosts, which is Sam from Baron to Bee Books. I know like I have two co-hosts right now, but I just thought I'd pick her because she and I have similar um, reading tastes. Plus, uh, we both love fairy tales, but I'm probably going to guess some of the fairy tale retellings that we've read from Fairy Talathon last year would be under her favorites. So the next book to where I'm going to be seeing a list uh, favorite, um, um, books of 2019 is Becca in the Books. I love her channel, especially with her Bookopoly video. I thought it was genius, and, um, I, I know she's mostly read fantasy, but I also seen that she's read a lot of science fiction, um, in 2019, so I'm definitely, hope I'm gonna see some of those two, um, genres on the list, and, um, so the next booktuber I'm gonna be watching a favorites video from is the Wild Sasha from um, Sasha from the Wild Sasha. I just love her videos and and she reads a lot of fantasy and from what I can tell and she and I have similar reading tastes and um, I definitely um, I might see like some fantasy books on her list but let let's see which next one would be Ellie with the books. I honestly love her. Channel. I think she's a sweet girl, and I and I know she's been talking about her love for Star Wars for a while, and I know she's been reading a lot of Star Wars related books. Um, but I'm not sure if it's ended up on her favorites list from 2019. I don't think, but I definitely would not be surprised if it um, they did though. I know I I think I've watched hers, but I don't remember what's on her list. And lastly, for and not least is. Um, Rocky from Blonde with the Books. She is one, one of my good booktube friends and she's one of my fir first friends on booktube and I know she's read a lot of LGBT plus books and and that doesn't surprise me because I've been wanting to read more books that has that representation um, representation <laughs> I have tr wow I'm very pr trouble pronouncing words and and I'm de I've been wanting to read more so I go to her for recommendations that has that um, um, kind of character, you know what I mean. So from these three books, um, have been from at least one of each, um, booktubers list and some have appeared in others, which is Onyx and Ivory by Mindy Arnett, that was from, um, Sam's List from Baron to Be Books, um, Crier's War from, um, Allie with the Books list, and Scythe from, um, Becca with, um, and the books, and I'm definitely going to be reading these because I own them, and I think I might, might have to reserve some books in the library, even though in the circumstances they're closed, so I'm definitely going to reserve some of them, like Daisy Jones and a Six, and Red, um, Red, White, and Royal Blue, because, um, I know many people have read that book, and that's been a lot of people's list, so I would definitely rent that from the library, um, Daisy and Jones, Daisy Jones at a six. I know many people enjoy the audiobook, so I might listen to that on audiobook. So those are my two choices, but now I have to pick one more. Oh boy. <laughs> um, Daisy Jones and a six. I honestly changed my mind about um, from Rocky's list. I do want, I really want to read um, Tweet Cute, so that's because that's on the one I've been wanting to read the most right at the moment. But I will read Red, White, and Royal Blue. One day it's just, I'm not in a mood for it. I kind of want to read, um, Tweet Cute 
more and um, The Baron and Nightingale. So those are the books that I picked out for this video. So hopefully I'll end up um, liking any of the six that I'll be reading for this video. I'm definitely really, I'm excited about um, the, picks that, the books I picked from all the booktubers favorite books of the year list but I'm also nervous because there's some that I'm in a mood to read and some that I'm not so and and I'm glad that I have the so that's settled I'm gonna be reading these three books Daisy Jones and the Six um Tweet Q because I'm in the mood for that right now I'm one wanting to read that the most more than Red Wine, Wine Red, Royal Blue but I do want to read that book it's just I want to read Tweet Q more and Skyward by Sanders Brandon Sanderson because I don't have the book with me right now. It's at Kevin's, so I'm definitely going to be reading those three and then those three other books I'll be mentioning for this video, and I'm excited, and I'm also nervous because what if I don't end up enjoying any of them, but I do trust all five of these booktubers' opinions because I I like how they have different reading tastes with me, but also I like how they have um same and different. You, you know what I mean. I'm just very excited about this video. Well, I just slapped myself with a book. <laughs> So it's been three days and I still haven't picked up either of these books yet or the audiobooks. Well, I'm putting one of them on hold. So I'm between those two right now. That's the definite. So I'm going to try out with Crier's War first, seeing as like it's shorter than any of the other books right now. Plus, I've heard that this is a fancy book that has um, sci-fi elements to it. That's why I mentioned in the, uh, when I grabbed this. So I definitely want to read this that's for sure that's probably why I didn't pick up another book so I'm definitely gonna pick this um up for this video first <laughs> hey everybody it's been two days later and I'm really enjoying Crayer's War so far which tells a story about um, a girl named Crier who isn't human but she is made to live kind of thing that's why I kind of see the sci-fi elements to it but and she wants to fit into um, human society. She you knows she's not human, but then she meets another girl. And of course, people are saying that there's a female-female romance in here, which I'm still like, uh, waiting for that romance. But I'm really enjoying the story so far, especially when they, especially the world building. And I'm just glad I'm really liking this so far. And I really can't put it down since I'm really enjoying the book so much. So, it, it's been a past a few days, and I apologize for that, and I just finished Cry's War. What the heck? It left on a freaking cliffhanger. Oh my gosh, what the heck? I'm, I, I, I really enjoyed it. I'm surprised because, I, like I mentioned earlier in this vlog, I think I mentioned it. I don't remember, but I'm really liking the world building and the characters, and especially the main character, Cryer. Oh my gosh, I'm like... Why? Why you leave us on a cliffhanger? Why? <laughs> and good thing that the sequel is coming out this year, so that's definitely going to be my most anticipated um, book releases for the second half of the year. And I did not expect to like it. And now I can see, I probably could see why Allie enjoyed this so much. Like the world building and the characters. That's just, I'm trying to remember from watching her, um, book to uh, um, her um, favorite books of the year and I know this one was on the list so I think I'm glad I'm doing this video because I would not expect to know if um, from all these like so far I'm really enjoying a book that was on a booktubers um, favorites list of 2019 and I know I have five more to go so I'm very surprised about that so I'm glad that I'm doing this video but Anyways, I'm trying to figure out which book I'm going to start next. I might start off um, Daisy Jones and the Six because I got an audio book through my library. I don't have the physical book or anything. I could have, but the library's closed, so I'm going to be listening to that audio book. I know I have another book. I have Tweet Cute on hold for an audio book because I know I've been wanting to read that since I heard about that. And I've been... And I've been... And I've, like, yeah, I definitely, it's like, I know I have three fiscal books right now, but I want to listen to Daisy Jones and the Six next. That's, 
my my next one because that's been so hyped like like this one the those two has been hyped and I don't know why hyped books are usually a hit or miss for me but since everybody loves Daisy Jones and the Six I thought I might get that one a try and I know that the other three books that I have on my TBR I know um, two of them were hyped and one was like pretty much underrated so I'm definitely gonna be I should start off with the hyped books should I I'm not quite sure so I'm definitely just going to anyways I'm gonna read uh, or listen to Daisy Jones and the Six because I heard I looks amazing and and I definitely will try to listen to it all day tomorrow because like the owls magical readathon is starting in two days so I know I have four books on that TBR and I would have added the books that I'm doing this video for to my Alice TBR but I didn't want to push myself or anything so I'm definitely just going to be doing like one day of reading one for the Alice um, Magical Arena Thon and then the other for this video. I'm, I'm not sure yet but I'm definitely going to be doing that so I know I feel like I've been rambling too much so I'm definitely going to be starring Daisy Johnson and Six right now. So I'm listening to Daisy Jones and the Six. I am two hours in and I'm really liking it so far. It almost sounds like a podcast which I hardly listen to so that's why I'm really liking it so far and plus it takes place in the 70s where the um, band like they're talking about the history of the band Daisy and the Jones and then um and then something happens and they're um explain why like the band broke up and I'm just really liking it so far and it's told in interview man which I never read in any other book before so I'm re and it's a full cast Aya book so I'm really liking it so far and people recommended it so I'm glad that he did so I don't have the physical book with me because I own it for one and two I should have picked it up from the library but I thought it might be checked out because it's so popular so much but I'm still really liking the audiobook and I'm so happy that I am and I feel like this video is a success so far like I did not expect like I will be reading books that are people's favorites and this and they may might become my favorites so this book is really surprising me and I know there's I know Cries War surprised me too so far so I'm really glad that I'm doing this video I feel like I said that like twice already but that I'm really liking this Aya book so far much and I can't stop gushing over it. I, I, can't, I can't stop. So it's been a couple days. Sorry for not vlogging as much for this video but I finished the Daisy Jones and the Six audio book and oh my gosh I love that book so much and now I get why people love this book and especially the audio book when they highly recommend the audio book so I, I loved it and I did not expect to like it as much as I did because I was like what's the big deal what's up with the hype and now I know why that book is pretty hyped and I know why that's pretty much I think everybody enjoyed it I'm not sure I've heard nothing but good things about it before I read it and and I love it so for the next booktuber favorite book I'm gonna read is Scythe by Neil Schusterman I know that's Becca from Becca and the Books um favorite book I know she I think she read all the whole series but I'm not sure but I really want to get started on it because I bought this like two years ago I'm not quite sure I yeah I think it was two years ago so I've had this for two years and I haven't read yet and I literally almost bought Thunderhead from book outlet before I even read this and I was like wait Jordan you have not read the first book yet why are you buying the sequel so I'm definitely gonna start on Scythe and hopefully I'll end up enjoying this as well. So it's been a few weeks. I'm sorry for not uh, reflecting on my thoughts on Scythe yet because I was in a Melvin uh, readathon, so I put this down a bit, but I can continue it. I got to page 76, I believe. No, I got to page 85. So I was pretty close. I'm really liking Scythe so far. I know many people love the world building. Uh, from this book and I'm really liking it um the world building too so so far with this experiment I'm it's like yes I know I'm 
reading booktubers favorite books um of 2019 but i i don't know why i didn't pick this up sooner because like i don't know why i i'm like feel like i was missing out on why people were liking it and enjoying it i haven't heard many people not enjoy it i mostly heard people enjoy it so i'm really liking this so far and um like i said i'm really liking the world building and and i'm really hoping to read this a bit more today i'm not quite sure like i don't know like how long but i know i want to continue reading this also i've been thinking about starting a new audiobook which is tweet cute my library had it but then they wouldn't let me review renew it because of um um and many people have been placing it on hold and they said i if i placed it on hold it will take nine days but for this experiment i didn't want to so i used my audible credit to get um the audiobook which i'm really happy about i haven't started it yet but i do want to start it because i haven't listened to an audiobook for a long time i'm probably over a month so i definitely want to um listen to tweet cute and hopefully i enjoy it because it, it seems like a really um a cute story that's like almost like it sounded like romeo and juliet kind of story for me and i'm especially when the two families are like rivals so i definitely want to Retweet cute because I know that was Rocky's favorite, and of course this was um, Becca's favorite. So I definitely want to read both of these. Hopefully in the next few days. So yeah, I'm really hoping to just continue on reading Scythe and listen to start listening to um, Tweet cute. So it's been the past few days. I finished Scythe. I liked it, but um, I felt like the I do like the world and everything. I just felt like the character I do like the characters I found them really interesting but I just uh this this book is good um don't get me wrong it's just I just feel like some parts of a book were like a bit um like I think the major problem um that I have for this book is um that the two characters that form a relationship I do agree with some people it's unnecessary it's like I just felt like um the world building is the more important part of this book so yeah, I did like it. I give it four stars or three and a half, but I'm just surprised because I thought I would end up liking it. Maybe it's just because of what's going on right now. It wasn't a best time to rate it, I guess. I don't know. It's I do like it. Don't get me wrong. It's just probably wrong, bad timing of Rand. That's what I'm trying to say. But I, I've read it and it's been on my shelves for almost like at least two years. So I, it was kind of a good time to read it but not a good time to read at the same time but i did enjoy it overall so and i also can i've read a bit more of my audiobook for tweet cute but i have i only got to one chapter of it so yeah it it's a very slow um process right now it's just i'm trying to i don't want to get into a rain stump so i'm really Hoping to um, continue on with my audiobook with Tweet Cute. I'm not sure if I'll be reading this before I go to bed. Or I mostly want to try to listen to it tomorrow because I need some. I just need to read a short read because I feel like I don't. Like I said, I don't want to get in a reading slump. But other than reading or listening to Tweet Cute, I should say. I should probably pick one of the two books that I have left to read for this video. I think for the next one I'm gonna pick up I'm gonna pick up Onyx and Ivory because which is fancy and and it I don't know how long it is it feels like 500 pages but let me check yeah it's about 500 pages so at least with this book so the book of this size it probably shouldn't take me long it's just tall books take longer for me to read for some reason so i am really curious about it because i know that's sam's favorite from baron b books and um i'm really excited to read it um it's a fancy book and i don't know anything about it but i this cover is so gorgeous so i'm really happy that i'm gonna be picking this up so yeah i might read my audiobook a bit more before I read another physical book, but I'm just excited to pick this up 
next when I once I re listen to a bit more of my audiobook. So I'm still listening to my audiobook for Tweet Cute. I'm really liking it so far. I'm like four chapters in. I'm starting to speed up the speed a bit so I can listen more of it. But also, I've started Onyx and Ivory by Bindi Arnett. From what I can tell, um, the story tells um, about a girl who can talk to animals or something like that. And then there's this prince that knew her from her past, but telling her that like he doesn't know her even though he does. So I'm kind of liking it so far. I'm only like 60 pages into it, so I don't have much of an opinion of it. But I am liking it even though I'm a little confused so far. So I'm hoping to read more of this and listen to Tweet Cute. But, but from those two that I'm reading, I can tell that I'm really liking them both. It's just a matter of which day I'm gonna mood to read more so hopefully I'll read the finish these two possibly this week so I can start on my last book for this video Skyward so yeah I'm hoping to get both of them done as soon as possible so it's been a few days later I'm gonna I decided to do DNF um, Onyx and Ivory just be it's not nothing wrong with the story or anything I don't think I'm in a mood, mood to read this right now and plus I'm a bit confused so I decide, I'm decide. i deciding to put it down and um, pick it up again when I'm in a mood for it. So I'm still going to continue on with my audiobook with Tweet Cutes because I'm really enjoying it so far. And I'm going to start up, start on Skyward Saint, by Brandon Sanderson. I've never read a Brandon Sanderson book before so I'm excited about that plus the sci-fi but it's over 500 pages I should say. Let me see without Spoiling, um, just give me a second. <laughs> so it's a 510, so I know, I don't know why I've been in a mood for sci-fi for some reason, so good thing I have this on my, for this video, so I'm gonna be starting on this. I might start with a chapter, and we shall see. Hey everybody, it's a few days later. I finished Onyx and Ivory, and I'm really disappointed that I didn't enjoy this one. I, I give it three stars. I I mean, I was confused in the beginning, and then um, I was, like, I I talked to Sam, who's uh, this was her favorite book of the year last year. Um, she found out on Twitter that um, that I um, was reading it, and yeah, I said I was gonna DNF it, but then um, after talking to Sam, I, I asked her, like, does it get better as it goes? And she said it does, and the story is interesting. She's excited about the sequel, and I might give it another chance to see if I actually like it the second time. I'm not sure. I mean, I did find the characters interesting. The world is just... I don't know. I'm, like, in the middle here. Like, it'd be, I'm just... Right now, I'm gonna give it three stars. If I want to reread it again, and I might enjoy it after, I'm gonna do that. But for right now, I'm gonna give it um, three out uh, of five stars stars so yeah I'm sad that I'm disappointed that I didn't like well my um friend's favorite um books because that was her favorite of the year last year but anyways I'm still working on my audiobook I'm like halfway through it and I only read a chapter of um Skyward but I want to work on more of this because this really reminds me of Rogue One a bit from the first chapter and I'm really enjoying it so far so even though it's just the first chapter I'm still willing to um, read some more of this so yeah I'm hoping to finish both of these like in the next few days so yeah wish me luck. So yesterday I finished Tweet Coot and I loved it and also I finished Skyward today and I give this 4 out of 5 stars. I give Tweet Q out of 5 out of 5 stars and this experiment has really been a journey. It's been, I filmed, so I filmed this video, I did, I, this process was a two month process. I apologize. I, it was supposed to be um, a month trying to read the, these books in a, within a month but since I participated in a readathon, I had to put it on pause but from reading these four and the two audiobooks that I've read for this 
video. I found some books that I really enjoyed and um, were they all five stars? No, but I did have, but some of them were five, some of them were four, and so with these book, with all these books that I've read, they're um, booktubers' favorites, and I call this video success because um, I just, I picked up books that I didn't think I would um, pick up, and there's some that I liked and some that I, eh, well, but I'm so happy that I did this challenge just because I didn't think I would pick up these books if it weren't for this video and I thank um, Books of Lala for creating this um, video that she inspired me to do this video and plus I do want to read more booktubers favorites in the future whenever that might be but I'm really happy to I, that I did this video. <laughs> so that's all for the books that I Fred, that were booktubers favorites of 2019. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and comment down below um, if you had to pick up booktubers favorite book to read, which one would you pick? I don't know. I definitely have picked so many books that I didn't think I would pick up and I did thanks to this video. <laughs> and if you haven't already, click the subscribe button and click that bell icon so that you know if I whenever I post new videos. <laughs> also, if you can follow me on social media like Twitter, Instagram, and Good reach, which all the links would be down below for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!